Okay, this video is going to go over installing the AM Solar uh, hardware kit for 35 millimeter mount panels. You're going to need a marker of some kind, utility knife, crimp tool. In this case, we're using lineman's pliers. You're going to need two bits, a eighth inch and then quarter inch, or you could also substitute with a step bit if you're careful. You're going to need wire strippers, 7 16 uh, socket wrench, and uh, open or closed end ended 7 16 wrench, a drill, and a heat gun. This kit is going to come with four uh, bolts. You want to uh, go with the bolts if you're not planning to tilt a lot because they don't uh, come loose as quickly, so they don't need to be tightened as often. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mount the 35 millimeter mounts on the corner here. Just take and clip those in and, and kind of center them. And then we're going to take our Sharpie in this case and just draw out exactly where we're going to drill our hole. Okay, once it's marked, we're going to go ahead and remove the mount and then we're ready to drill. Um, you'll notice I have a piece of wood underneath here. That is to prevent the drill bit from going too far and hitting the panel on the other side. All right, and then we're gonna take our eighth inch drill bit here and we're gonna find uh, dead center. And just go a little slow. Okay, once we're through, kind of clean it out and then we're back out. And then we're ready to use our quarter inch drill bit. Okay, and then same thing as before, find dead center of that eighth inch bit uh, where the, we've got the hole here and then just go slow. Okay, if it jams on you like it just did, you see we don't have a round hole yet, I'm gonna back out and just go again. Okay, now we're ready to uh, bolt down our 35 millimeter mount. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and put the mount on here, line it up with the hole that we just drilled, and we're ready to put the bolts on. All right, we're going to take our quarter 20 bolt here and run it up from underneath, and then just loosely uh, put on the nylock quarter 20 nut. And then we're going to take our socket wrench on the top and our open or closed end wrench on the bottom and tighten that down. And one thing of note here, I hold the mount with my thumb right here because it's going to want to twist to the side. So you hold it still with your thumb. Okay, now it's snug and we're ready to put our foot on. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our foot on. This foot could go, uh, you can put it in any of the three holes um, and you can put it facing out or facing in, depending on uh, what makes the most sense for your setup. Um, this mount can also fit on the short edge, which makes tilting from side to side easier. All right, so we're just gonna take uh, the uh, lock washer, this only thing on here, just run it into the hole that we want and then tighten it down. And we're gonna go kind of finger tight here until the panel is mounted. That way um, it can move to the contour of the roof. And then once the panel is all set and installed on the roof, then you'll tighten that uh, bolt down. All right, once you've got your first uh, mount done, you can go ahead and do the same thing on all four corners. And just to reiterate, this mount can also face the other way, which is actually a little bit more common. That way you can tilt from side to side. All right, so this kit is set up for MC4 connectors. So next we're gonna go over wiring the MC4 connectors to the 10-2 that we provide, and then uh, connect that to our MC4 connectors on the panel. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and prep our 10-2. And for that, you wanna come back a few inches here, like, like so. And we're gonna take our utility knife and just go real slow all the way around, just to kind of etch it. 
and then we're going to take the end of the cable and pull it towards you and then carefully just go through real slow um, this helps with a sharper blade we're going to go real slow until you see the white underneath or you might see some wire and then you'll turn and do it again and you can do that all the way around until it separates so it's already automatically pulled apart there so we're just going to keep going here all the way around Okay. And then once it's done that, you can take and just pull that right off. And then your lineman's pliers wind up being the perfect tool to clip that off. So you take and clip the insulation off here. Okay. All right, now that we have the wire sheaths back a few inches here, uh, we're going to actually go ahead and cut about an inch back on the positive cable so that we can stagger it. About yay. And then we're going to take on our negative lead here, cut the same amount off of the negative lead on the MC4 connector. Set those aside. And then we're going to take our wire uh, strippers here and use that as a measuring tool. So you go right there, mark it with your thumb. Uh, we're going to the edge of the blade here, to the edge of the tool. And then strip that wire back and then do the same on the positive. Okay. And then we're ready to go ahead and connect those wires. Okay, so on this next step, you'll want the large heat shrink around the 10-2 cable, and then we're going to go and put the buck connectors on. So I like to hold them with the lineman's pliers like so, and then just kind of slip them on. And give it a good twist so it goes all the way in. Squeeze tight, and then you're going to take and check that connection by pulling. That one seems good. And do the next one here. twist so it goes in, squeeze, and then you're ready for your MC4 connectors. The uh, positive one, because we didn't cut it, is ready to go. So it comes factory cut, and we'll just put that one all the way in, and then crimp that down. Okay. And pull. And then we've got to prep this one. So we're gonna do that same trick here. Okay. Gotta make sure it's straight here. And we're gonna flip that down. All right, now we're ready to uh, shrink the heat shrink. Um, while you're doing this, you want to stay pretty close, but you don't want to burn it. So you're going to move it back and forth. Uh, trying not to heat the cable itself, just heating the heat shrink. And once you see it start to move like that, then we're going to switch sides and finish it off on the opposite side here. And this one needs it. Uh, it to switch again, so we're going to switch to just this one side. Okay, that one's done. We'll go to the next one. Now we're trying not to let the heat touch the cable itself because it can burn the cable. Use my finger to move that one out of the way. And then we're going to move the large heat shrink over that. You can kind of feel, make sure you have about an inch uh, between that, between where the sh uh, sheathing from the cable ends, so just like so. You start on one end and you work your way forward.
Okay. And then once it's all shrunk, I'm going to take my lineman's pliers at the end here where it splits and just push down just like so and hold it there while it cools for a little bit. And then it'll hold that shape to seal off the end where the, the cables go in. And then once that's all cool, you're ready to make the connections. The positive is going to go into the positive here. Negative is going to go into the negative here. Okay, now that the panel is uh, prepped, we're ready to go ahead and install it on a roof.